Bumiraj Chapagain uh, is the co-founder and manager at Sharecast Initiative Nepal. And uh, he has over 15 years of, of experience working with community radio. He is uh, currently contributing to the Association of Community Radio Broadcasters Nepal as an audit committee coordinator. Bumi is a 2015 Diploma in Development Leadership graduate uh, here at the Cody International Institute. He holds a master's in population and development studies. Bumi, over to you. Thank you so much, Julian. Uh, this is Bumi Chapagai from Nepal. Uh, now I'm going to talk about local radios in Nepal. Uh, particularly, I'm going to talk about how Sharecast Initiative Nepal supported to local radios to enhance people's participation in local radio in Nepal. First, I would like to share about the context. What's the Nepalese radio context in Nepal? Uh, Nepal is pioneer in South Asia for FM radio. Now we have more than 740 radios already have license by the end of 2017. And uh, radio is credited to with improving political and part participation of deepening democracy in Nepal. And Nepal is a, a diverse country, diversity in caste, ethnicity, language, religion, uh, culture, so many things. And with a very low literacy, like 66% uh, people are literate, and among them 39% uh, are with primary level educations. Uh, besides this, radios are not going on here with adequate audience information, like audience demographic and uh, uh, social composition information, audience profile, and their need and interest. This is why the audience size is decreasing day after day. Uh, it is it was recorded in 2013 that 92% total audience were uh, in 2013 and it is decreased to 72% by the end of 2016. And the daily, daily listeners also decreasing from 60% to 35%. So the other challenges is sustainability challenge. Uh, very roughly, more than 75% radios are in crisis. And uh, uh, the recent uh, data revealed that 32% radios were already shut down and 47 radios were failed to renew their license. This is the context. Uh, the another, uh, why this initiative is, Surecast Initiative uh, Nepal uh, initiate uh, uh, programs to address these challenges, to strengthen local radios and respond to listeners' priorities so Sharecast worked to bridge audiences with local radios through data transparency, multiple layers of data from multiple corners. And Sharecast worked to engage radio operators and staffs to participate in the process. And it was pilot with 10 local radios from uh, seven provinces. We have, we have a cycle of activities. We have done four different activities during this project period. We have done media and democracy, democracy survey, short analysis workshop, ABCD workshop, program redesign and uh, redesigning workshop. It's kind of cycle, but demand driven cycle, not donor or project driven cycle. Uh, now I would like to share some glimpse of audience survey over here. Uh, we have done annual media and democracy survey since 2015. Uh, the survey was conducted to understand citizens' perspective on media and democracy in Nepal. The audience, the respondent size was different from 4,000 to 5,555, and it was face-to-face -face interview with uh, using a mobile device. Uh, questions related to citizens were views, opinion, and perception on current radio programs, what they are listening now. And the, another one was desired content 
perceptions about local government and democracy and what they really want to listen from their local radios the next activities was short analysis strength weakness opportunities and threat analysis it was in house with radio member radio board and entire staffs this was done because to uh, diagnose the internal health and external opportunities of local radios internal health means uh, what's their internal status their management their staff their board their collaboration communication branding promotion so many things and what's they have the external opportunities from their local community and it was done to identify the possible solutions to identified issues you know so we try to find the possible solutions within uh, these groups and then we uh, done asset based community development approach abcd in local radio it was quite a um, new pilot in uh, local radios it was also in house workshop with radio member radio board and entire staff staffs it was done to understand map and document local assets opportunities possible allies and collaborators around their local radios and it was done to explore what community assets they could potentially mobilize to benefit both radio and the community as well after this abcd we said we again gathered together to radio member board and entire staff it was also in house we have done this activities because ultimately audience wants programs they want to listen programs so we sit together to redesign programs uh, it was done to identify how local radio could address people's need and respond to audience interest and concerns by shifting program timing and format and the another uh, way we done this activities was to identify how radio can open multiple doors to ensure greater participation and address local problems through radio content after all these four activities we have got some good outcomes from uh, all activities the first one we got increase in community center programming like radio started to broadcast health related program education related program personal finance program programs on local governance and accountability that helps to increase their audience and that helps to increase their sustainability as well because now they are doing multiple type of collaboration with other agencies association and the organization within their community area so we have data that around 20% of audience they got and now it helped to improve participation in programmings radios increases box pop local reports lo local interviews local news and local programmings so the another outcome we got is uh, improved internal management as well after the short analysis radio listed multiple activities actions how they can overcome these uh, problems gaps and we got regular meetings now plans plans of action and strategies input output output monitoring mechanism they have and the capacity building trainings also and the reporting mechanism they have do this help them to improve their internal management and the another outcome we got uh, increased transparency and access to information now radio are linking social media platform like facebook twitter viber to uh, to get connect to their audience to receive opinion concerns voice you know and they are using website online streaming as well and that they are putting their content on port podcast as well to make available to everywhere and the another outcome was mobilized 
local assets for greater citizens engagement in local media like local news stories and programs archived on website and as podcast it helped them to to disseminate for the wider community globally we have got some lessons after this activities like this is evident based decision not we done not we forced to do this and that this all had done based on the data based on information about audience radio community asset all things happen by the data they were data driven decisions and the another our lesson was uh, radio local radio is a common platform for citizens voice you know without people centric uh, content and sound management local radio couldn't survive anymore for local radio participation was discovered to be a prerequisite after this approach and we got another lessons after this activities local radio is a local democratic space still people express on is to complain directly to elected representative public official and other service provider but they feel comfortable to talk with radio to complain to put their voice opinion so local radio is a local democratic space the final we got the synchronization of multiple approaches to enhance local radio responsiveness you know we have audience survey sort abcd redesigning workshop multiple activities but own activities followed another another this is kind of cycle you know the finally we got importance of internal sustainability first local radio should sustain to address local priorities concerns the performance and sustainability of internal management and system were completely linked to radio's ability and willingness to adapt the need in their audience is yes. this is our lesson learn now i complete my presentation over here if you want to know about our work if you want to more information please you can contact me you can visit our website www.surecast.org.np and you can write an email and we can discuss if you have any question or if you want to more clarity later thank you so much so and thank you bumi so again another uh, another case uh, of engagement engagement uh, this time engaging uh, audiences surfacing their preferences their priorities uh, generating data from different local audiences in order to ultimately be able to um, to engage the radio uh, stations as well and foster responsiveness on their sides to those priorities to those needs and in so doing enhancing that relationship between radio and their audiences and ultimately creating uh, uh, as you as you put it a more a more democratic public conversation where radio is responding to uh, to audiences and vice versa so thank you for uh, for that third case um, we uh, we hope that uh, that's generated a lot of interest and, and perhaps some questions, some comments, and we look forward to a discussion on that